Sacrifice is a noble, selfless, and loving act, and sacrifice is the core message of Christianity. It was the sacrifice of Christ which saved all of humanity from its sins, and now Christians are called to sacrifice in the name of his Father, in the name of God, and in rejection of sin. So the question is, what will you sacrifice for Christ? William Lane Craig, for example, has sacrificed his creativity for Christ. When asked why a god who loves his creations would allow predators to rip apart other animals in such horrific ways, Craig responded that this was the only way to have a balanced ecosystem. And such an ecosystem must be balanced if it's to be viable. The Canadian authorities are reintroducing wolves into the wild in Canada. Why? Because in the absence of these predators, the caribou herds were overpopulating, and as a result, they were overgrazing, and therefore dying of starvation. The predators actually enhanced the survivability and the health of the caribou herds on which they preyed. So any viable ecosystem needs to have predation in it in order to succeed. Craig is so humble before Christ, so willing to sacrifice, that he sacrificed his ability to even think of any other ways to have a balanced ecosystem. He sacrificed his ability to even consider that God could simply adjust the fertility rates of animals to match the available food supply, thus balancing the ecosystem. It does not even occur to Craig that such an alternative might exist. Craig has lovingly and humbly sacrificed his creativity for the sake of Christ. But there is even more that a person could sacrifice for Christ. Cameron Bertuzzi of Capturing Christianity has sacrificed even more than William Lane Craig. Cameron Bertuzzi has sacrificed his ability to ask difficult questions to people he disagrees with. When someone asks us why God would allow something as terrible as the Holocaust, even though that's not necessarily a rational conclusion to jump to, it can still feel like God doesn't exist. Emotional questions are kind of like advertising. They can really mess with our ability to think rationally. And the solution is to just resist manipulation. Cameron is so humble before Christ, so willing to sacrifice, that he has sacrificed his ability to say such basic things as, if you really can run a four minute mile, then why can't you climb one flight of stairs without gasping for breath? Cameron has lovingly and humbly sacrificed his ability to ask these kinds of difficult questions for the sake of Christ. But there is even more that a person could sacrifice for Christ. Justin Brierly of the Unbelievable podcast and YouTube channel has sacrificed even more than William Lane Craig and even more than Cameron Bertuzzi. Justin Brierly has sacrificed something so profound, so meaningful, that truly I tell you, he shall be called greatest in the kingdom of God. Justin Brierly has sacrificed his ability to reject logical contradictions. Is God just and merciful? Yes. Uh, how? Because by definition, mercy is the suspension of justice. One can't enact justice and simultaneously suspend it. Right. Well, logically, you're absolutely right, if you just look at it logically. But I believe God is a God of paradoxes. When confronted with an obvious and seemingly inescapable contradiction in the nature of God himself, Justin Brierly has nobly and lovingly sacrificed his ability to reject logical contradictions because he values his relationship with Christ that much. He has sacrificed his basic logical reasoning skills because that is the price of discipleship, and Justin Brierly pays this price willingly, just as Christ paid our price willingly. So if you're a Christian watching this video, my question for you is this. What will you sacrifice for Christ? What will you sacrifice to protect your belief in God?